a certain experiment going on right now, and if the experiment should end. Was it Mulligan? Is that what it, was? <laughs> it sounds familiar. Yeah. I asked you guys on Friday show, when is the Mulligan experience or uh, project, I don't know how I phrased it, over? Yeah. And now You've we have Malgan our answer. right out of the league. <laughs> what was that? You've what? been Mulligan right out of the league. <laughs> I don't been. know where that came from. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Uh, we know the the Malgan uh, experiment is over. Yeah, and you know what? In retrospect, now that it's like today, Yarn Croc is back, and today Malgan got traded. The Malgan experience was probably over a week and a half ago, and they were like, "Okay, no, we agree." No, no, no. It was alive and well Saturday night. Was it? Oh yeah, you don't absolutely. Think it was like, listen, Colorado. As soon as we get Yarn Croc back, we'll finalize this deal. But we just need the body right now. I would think that when I watched the Leafs break out, I believe on the third goal, it went Marner off the wall. It went through uh, Matthews. The backhand pass from Kuznetsov. Yes. <laughs> what a pass. But, but it, was, it was Marner to Mulligan on the tape, and this guy doesn't even have his stick down. Yeah. And then within five seconds, it's the turnover on the – in the neutral zone, and it's back in your net. That's when the experiment was over They're for like, Mulligan. Seen enough. It, seen enough. And it felt like he played a lot in that game. And I just went and checked, and he did play a lot. He played over 15 minutes in that game. Yes. Well, if you play him on the second line. There's going to be games that happen, and particularly I, when you're chasing I, the game and looking if, for offense. If it wasn't Marner that maybe got to somebody and said, "Enough." <laughs> Absolutely yeah. enough. Yeah, I'd rather retire than play best another right shift in the league. with Mulligan. <laughs> Tapped out on playing <laughs> if, with that guy. If Marner didn't say that, yeah. uh, then somebody else and, said it. And listen, I would completely understand it if I'm Marner. Like, have you seen how good I've been playing? Like, this is the this is the left winger that you're you yeah, got I, me with here. I, I got 23 games a consecutive streak playing with guys like this. Well, and if you're the Leafs, you're going. Yeah, it's great. We can put anyone with you, and you'll put it together for us. Yeah, and tea times too in April. <laughs> <laughs> like a fan for another team sometimes. Hey, uh, so what do we hear about? Uh, they traded him for Dryden Hunt. Correct, from Colorado. And it's going to come in not as skilled as Mulgan. No, though he did have 120 points in junior one year. We haven't seen any signs of that. Nope. Oh, American League, he had 23 goals twice. Sounds like my career. <laughs> I was going to say, is this, I was like, is this kicker we're talking about? Junior. If they want to win a cup in game seven. I that's scored like, 24 yeah. with the Hershey Bears yep. and then turned into a mucker and a grinder well, and an energy guy. You should love Dryden Hunt. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to love him a lot more than Mulligan. Yes, I can confirm that. He is top 10 in hits per 60 minutes. Good enough for me. He Doesn't runs- sound like a typical Dubis guy. No. But the pendulum swinging on what he needs. And Saturday night was another example. I, I, I don't want to see a team run me. And that's mm-hmm. what essentially, when, when you see a guy like Ovechkin, and again, at age 37, it just, it's mind-boggling that this guy not only does it, but wants to do it. Mm-hmm. Like it's unbelievable that that guy's got the energy for everything he's gone through to still go out there and hit Timmons like a bag of feathers. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it a is. huge You're right. hit. It is. It's not just the physical ability, it's the continued yeah. desire to chase down the bodies. That is. I think one of the most electrifying type of hits for the guy goes into the the bench. Great. And I I don't feel like I've seen a lot of those in the last couple of years, but God, he just got him right in the sweet spot, hands on the logo, straight into the bench. And there's nothing better than the guys in the bench looking at him, being like, "I'm not helping you for one second, pal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get your own, get the hell out of here. Hug back, yeah, just so make it here. harder if you can. I love that kind of hit. But that's why I think you go and try to, you know, change it up a little bit with Hunt. But if you're that, that so I'm just to represent yeah. the conversation that's happening about this trade on social media anyway is the Leafs don't need another guy who doesn't score. They don't need another good defensive player. They don't. The bottom six needs scoring. They, Kipper, they, they need scoring. No. No, they need a guy like Hunt to go and and do what Ovechkin did to somebody just a little bit. 